What's up, guys? Storm here, back again with another episode of Let's Play Ty Tasmanian Tiger 2. And, you know, I'm back again. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of sorry about, uh, you know, posting that one episode. Yeah, I'm gonna. Saying I'm gonna be doing, like, two parts a day for the rest of the summer and everything. Yeah, you know, things happen. Stuff gets in the way. Um, but you know, I'll try and finish this game up before Christmas, maybe. I I really don't want to make any promises, because, you know, it's just been... Just, whenever I make a promise, I pretty much don't do it, so... Um, so yeah, today, uh, we're going to do this mission. Which has some, uh, crazy, uh, crazy atmosphere. Uh, yeah, so we're pretty much just gonna do that mission today. And, uh, after that we'll fight the boss, uh, which will probably be next episode. Uh, but first, uh, we're going to go into North Baramaji to do something that I kept forgetting to do. Pretty much the entire let's play. So let's do that. So yeah, um, I am recording this the day after Thanksgiving. I hope everyone had a wonderful, thankful Thanksgiving. If you live in America, if you live in Canada, I hope you had a nice Thanksgiving. I think, yeah, you guys have, it's not the same time though, it's in a different month, I remember. And if you're from Europe or wherever, and you don't already know what Thanksgiving is, oh well. Welcome back, so yeah, friend. wow, I already have Farewell, that. Well, friend. I could have sworn I did not buy that. This is super awkward now. Hold on. God. I could have sworn I did not have that. Whatever. You know what? We're gonna roll with it. And I went the wrong way. And I still don't know how to get this cog here. No idea. There's probably a button around here I need to press. Uh, but we'll do that another time. But yeah. So... Believe it or not, we're actually already almost two-thirds through the game. This is the second boss. Um, and just like Tai 1, there's three bosses. Not counting the opening part. Three bosses, and then the final boss right after the third one. So, um, yeah, so uh, Hello there, Ty. we going to do some driving. And it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be great. We're gonna have, we're gonna have show tunes. It's gonna be awesome. Oh boy, let's get to the door. What I want to know is where are these opals coming from? Seriously. And why is there a fire hydrant literally in the middle of the road? I mean, come on now. I mean, I'm assuming it's a fire hydrant. I mean, unless it's just an opal machine that they just put in the middle of the road. Where am I going? Uh, uh, wait, which one? Alright. Be faster. To... Wait, can't... Woo! Oh. Wait. Hold. What the heck? Wow, that's so misleading. See, I thought there was like a little road leading like back. Never mind, never mind. Just don't, don't even worry about it, you know? Everyone needs to drive a little now and then. 
And you know how I be whipping it on the roads. Opals. I really don't have that many opals. I spent all of them on boomerangs. So it would like would have put some variety and stuff in the overworld. So so mundane and boring, you would never guess that boss cast is trying to take over the world. Now in tie three, you literally can't go like a hundred yards before you get molested by a bunch of crinkin. It was somewhere in between it would have been nice. Oh also Let's talk about uh, tie four. Not really tie four, but it's new tie game came out uh, this summer on Windows 8. So if you have a Windows phone or uh, Windows 8 on your PC, uh, you can get it. I still know how expensive it is, uh, but it's basically like a 2D uh, platformer. If you owned any of the uh, Game Boy games. Um, I think they came out with a Game Boy version. Of, I know they came out with the Game Boy version at Tie Two. I think they did one for Tie Three as well. And it's basically like a t 2D platformer, but you know, it's Tie Ties Me and Tiger, which is awesome. And I would really stress anyone that wants to see like a full-fledged. You know, Tie Tasmanian Tiger 4 on the new consoles. Please go out and buy that, because every little, every little penny helps Chrome out. And that's. Well, hold on. Yeah, and so any little penny will help. Uh, I'll help him out. Um, yeah, so this this place is actually pretty fucking huge. Um, there's a bunch of little things you can do to make platforms move, and basically it's all for opals. So I might try and find s some opals, but um, there are no like actual collectibles in this area. But it is pretty crazy, like there's some opals down here. So Dive, dive, dive! Yeah, so they're mostly a hundred. Um yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and just do the do the actual mission. I spend like half an hour in here looking for opals. There's a bunch of different stuff, like platforms everywhere and shit. Area is huge. Like I didn't even, I wouldn't have guessed it, but it's like, it's bigger. It's like as big as like a full size regular level. Oh. oh shit! Oh wow! I took two hit points at the same time, Chrome. Where's my invincibility? So yeah, all these, uh, fires, oh my god, all these fires are, uh, guarded by blue tongues and uber blue tongues. Come, move out of the way. Right. Tie the fireman to save the day. There's one over here. Yeah, 
Give me them opals. Give me the opals. Yes. All right. And the camera literally is glitching out of part. Okay. And that's that. Um. So yeah, there's like some opals you can get from uh, hitting these switches. There's like three of them. I think they make platforms or something. Not too sure. But we're not going to worry about that. Like I said, no important collectibles. Plus, there's people's houses that are burning down, and, you know, that's pretty much more important than finding money. Now, if there were some platinum cogs or some chromium orbs, oh boy, well, fuck your house. Go, go! Pretty much crusty. Uh, let's see. Uh, one all alone over here. Oh, two. Let's see if I can. If I remember right, there's some opals. I don't remember. Yeah, see, there's some opals up there. Or something. Hold on, where's that little pond? Okay, it's way back here. This remind I don't know, this kind of format style reminds me of the game Transformers Armada for the PS2. I'd actually, uh, let's play that if I can get my hands on the actual game. It's probably one of the hardest games I've ever played, and I've only gotten to the second level. Then again, I was like 10, and I didn't know what the R3 button was until someone told me. Yeah, there's one more. Uh, we're gonna wait to put it out because there's some easy opals to get. <laughs> All right, it's this way, right? Yeah. And there's your opals and uh, a bomb. Opals. All right. Take a quick hundred opals like that any day. Wait, it's that over there. It's a, it's a basket. Basket. What are we at right now? Ooh. 14 minutes. That's not good. Actually, it's perfect because we're pretty much done here. And now we're done here. Good on you, mate. Yeah, we saved Gunna Gunna, but it's still burning behind you. If I had a dollar for every time I heard that joke, I'd have about seventeen dollars. Okay, so uh, that's all the missions um, until the boss fights, 
And yeah, so that is it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This has been Storm's Let's Plays. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the video if you want more. And there should definitely be in uh, the next episode of tomorrow where I go and fight Fluffy. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And peace.